Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia, brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes, or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, this mountain was once thought to be one of the American continent's highest peaks. Is it A, Mount Booker, B, Mount Brazu, or C, Mount Columbia? And the answer is A, Mount Booker. When the sight-impaired Scottish botanist climbed to the top of a peak in, in what is now Jasper National Park on May 1st, 1827, he had no idea of the mon monumental blunder he was about to make. The peak he climbed, he named Mount Brown after his teacher and fellow botanist, Robert Brown. He wrote in his journal that its height does not appear to be less than 16 or 17,000 feet above the level of the sea and described the peak as the highest yet known in the northern continent of America. He looked across at an adjoining peak, estimated it to be about the same height, and named it Mount Hooker, after Sir William Hooker, a distinguished Scottish botanist who had adopted the young Douglas as his protege. Now to put, these, put the height of these mountains into perspective, the Matterhorn in the Alps is 14,692 feet above sea level, putting these two northern North American peaks at 1,000 plus feet higher. When, when he was 35 years old, Douglas was killed in a climbing mishap in Hawaii. Two years later, Sir William Hooker published Douglas's first person account in an 1836 edition of Companion to the Botan of, pardon me, Companion to the Botanical Magazine. This created a challenge for the European climbers as they believed that at least two mountains higher than any peak in the Alps existed in North America. It took 57 years before Arthur Coleman, a Quebec foreign geology professor, explored the Athabasca Pass region and doubts about the size of the mountains began to emerge. Coleman wrote in his journal, and I quote, what has gone wrong with these two mighty peaks that they should shrink 7,000 feet in altitude? And how could anyone, least of all a scientist like Douglas, make so monumental a blunder? Well, it appears that Douglas received a measurement from the British Admiralty giving the Athabasca Pass an altitude of 11,000 feet, which is more than 5,000 feet higher than it really is. And he may have made a mathematical error based on this flawed information. One also has to wonder about Douglas's description in general when he reached the Athabasca Pass back in 1827. He was accompanied by Hudson's Bay Company traders and voyagers and decided on a whim to climb what seemed to be the highest peak in the north. His choice what was to become Mount Brown. It's far from being the highest peak in the Rockies and not even the highest in the ranges surrounding Athabasca Pass. Perhaps no blindness and an inflammation of the eye caused him to miss seeing the highest peak. Regardless, for a while, those two mountains held titles as giants until further exploration put them back in their place. And tomorrow's question is, in 1915, the Medicine Hat Board of Trade contributed what amount to a promotional film? A, $46.95. B, $469.95 or C, $4,695.95. Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it and we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy!